And to extend on that point, and not just those two tracks, but as you mentioned, the most recent track was with uh, mentoring Trevor Lawrence. So that's an addition where it could be argued by the pessimists. Well, Russell Wilson and Matt Ryan had it figured out. They didn't need anyone. They were true pros. Well, Trevor Lawrence has yet to arrive in the NFL, but he has survived a season. And Harriger has that experience of working with a young athlete who's still trying to figure things out at that level. And he's obviously was able to relate. It appears with somebody uh, of a younger status. And also a, a rookie, you know, being able to walk with someone in a, in a brand new situation. Now, of course, Harriger was working primarily with the receivers, but of course that obviously in Jacksonville, but that obviously involved a lot of, input and conversations with Lawrence in terms of, again, building a rapport with his wide receivers on the Jaguars. But Harriger, because of that experience, like it, that, that's his work with a less proven quarterback and give him the confidence to stand on his own and be a leader. And, and Harriger just personally, without so much how he's going to relate to Caleb Williams, uh, Harriger also just has the fact that, you know, Trevor Lawrence's season didn't go well. He also saw how few resources Trevor Lawrence uh, was given by Urban Meyer and how dysfunctional a situation that was. So, I mean, the work with Russell Wilson, that was obviously a period of success and prosperity. Um, but the, the period with Trevor Lawrence, it might be it might benefit USC less because of what Harriger is able to impart to Caleb Williams. But specifically in terms of just the Jaguars piece of this, Mark. Harriger could become a better coach by learning from the failure and the dysfunction that surrounded him and Trevor Lawrence. Like this wasn't Harriger's main responsibility. It didn't fall to him to lead Trevor Lawrence or to lead the Jaguars offense. Again, he, he has this lower uh, place in the larger uh, coaching staff on the Jaguars, just as he's had a lower place on each of the NFL staffs he's been on. But for Harriger to see that dysfunction, uh, you know, from his lower place on the Jaguars staff. I mean, failure is part of how you learn. And so Harriger's background, having success in Seattle under Pete Carroll, but also having failure in Jacksonville under Urban Meyer, it's probably going to make him a better, more well-rounded coach who can be honest with Caleb Williams. And he can tell him, you know, this is how things go when they're going wrong. This is what a, a dysfunctional situation looks like. This is what Trevor Lawrence didn't have. This is why I'm going to give to you, you know, what, what I wasn't able to give Trevor Lawrence in Jacksonville because of how badly that larger situation was managed by Urban Meyer. So the, that pinch of failure that's also part of Will Harriger's uh, NFL coaching history, it's going to make him a better coach for Caleb Williams at USC.